half a million dollar home. You cannot expect someone to spend half a million dollars and have this. So 525, we're gonna have to do the cha-cha-cha. Oh. People have money. What they don't have is a person that's gonna turn their money into more money without them having to do any work. You really just need a human being with hands. Like a human being with hands could have done that. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. We're doing another vlog day. It is April 2nd. It is 8.33 a.m. Obviously, I've been up sooner than that. I'm reading my book. And oftentimes people <coughs> ask, like, how do you learn all these things? Like, how did you learn X, Y, Z, da, da, da. There's books on a lot of things when it comes to real estate investing. So I read them. Anyhow, we got a lot going on today. Stick around. We're going to be buying a vanity. We're going to be seeing a flip. We're going to go see a potential property I cold called yesterday. And a bevy of other things. And... We raised $100,000 over the weekend. So we have to finalize those figures, get the agreements out the right way. Okay, so now that the reading is done, we talked to the accountant. It is 8.57 a.m. going through my email. And being that it's the second uh, day of April, I got our rents coming in. I got $1,300, $1,050, $1,320 came in. Well, we got $1,400 came in and a bunch of other shit. I'm, I need to scroll pretty. A few people pay way, way ahead of time. But nothing, nothing. Beats getting a little bit of cash flow every single month. The idea of building up to like $2,000 a month in passive income is great. But imagine if you build a massive earned income source. And then once you have so much money, just like that, within one or two purchases, you can have $2,000 a month. And then carry on from there. We're going to take a quick commercial break to remind you to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. And leave a comment with your thoughts, feedback, questions, concerns, insults, whatever you want, put it in there. I read all the comments, I personally reply. And look, if you're someone that needs, that is serious about their business and you wanna grow and you want me to help you, I'm gonna hold your hand through the whole process. There's a link in the bio for the mentorship program. Okay, there's a 15 minute call, that call is free. We'll talk, we'll see if you're in a position where that will actually make sense for you, and then we'll take it from there. Uh, I don't know when this, this is going to come out, but we have two spots left at, uh, at the current price of $9.97, and then the price will double. We are officially at the house. It is 10.06 a.m. We have to rush over to this vanity spot. Listen, a 72-inch vanity is about the hardest thing to find, and they never had it, have it in storage, just so you know, uh, if you're ever going to do a flip with a 72-inch vanity. So we're on our way to pick up from a different store, and then we got to drop that off to the flip. We're going to meet the contractor here. Hello? Hey, you're my friend. I'm here to pick up a 72-inch. Yeah, this is a nice vanity store. I found this on Facebook Marketplace, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what do you think? Nice. Good or bad? Oh, this is good. The more you flip, the more you find like, you know, suppliers like this. So now I know if I need to put vanity, I know where to go. One, two, three. Oh. See, if I wasn't on the job, you guys wouldn't be able to do this. Yeah, man. <laughs> Woo! Make sure to take it down. Be careful, you know? You guys yeah. can open it, take the counter top off, make yeah, it easier. That's, gonna be that's probably the best way to handle that, yeah. At some point in your flipping investing journey, these are the things you do not need to be doing anymore. But since we are only flipping five to 10 houses a year, you know, our margins have to be good. We can't afford to make $15,000 on, uh, on a project, you know? So every time I, things like this might save me a whole grand. This might save me about a thousand dollars. Let's say if I do 10 flips a year, that's ten thousand dollars. I'm able to make these little incremental saving, you know, deals for myself, so I save some money. So I was talking to my contractor about this. A lot of times, like, it's not that I'm being cheap, right? And if I'm thinking about volume, okay, it doesn't matter. I can make fifteen grand if I'm making, uh, if I'm doing a hundred flips. That's a different story. But if I'm doing ten flips, if I can save five thousand dollars by buying very specific materials, that's now if I do ten, that's fifty thousand dollars. That's a whole nother flip. So maximize your profits, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice. So welcome to the flip. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be the reason why. Yo, this back is though. I know, Orphan, you were like obsessed with the black. Yeah. But the <laughs> black just wasn't it. No? You guys tried it? It was not it. Bro. Gabriel was so against it, bro. He just refused to install it. I'm like, bro. I paid for it, just to install it. Goes, no, it's gonna look bad. Everyone will look at it. Mama Sita. Damn. A Gabriel production. Yes, sir. Someone mm -hmm. cut here. How much did they ding us for this? What's up? How much was the reglazing of the top? 
Okay. I had somebody quote me 450. So I was like, we, we do that? I was like, I'm looking, you know, never hurts to get. Yo, this rock work, my boy? Phenomenal. Are you just by yourself? Yeah. No, Jose? No. Why? There's nothing you want to do. Help you? What? You gonna install that mirror by yourself? Why don't you get like an apprentice? You really just need a human being with hands. Like a human being with hands could have done that. Delegate, ladies and gentlemen. Gabriel does not delegate. Everything has to have my hands on it. Because I can't, you know, confirm it. You know, it's my word. Yeah, I trust issues, man. Yeah, how much are you selling the flip for? 500, maybe 525. If it goes to 525, we're going to have to do the cha-cha-cha. So you're gonna take pretty much that, and then we put we're gonna we're gonna pick it up and pass it to you. So then you two are gonna end up holding it while I transition down there, so I can hold you up. I literally can't even see. I'm up. Oh, where you wanna go? Let me get some more. I should have got an idea. Next time, somebody's like, give you materials, I'm gonna smack him in the fucking mouth. I'm gonna do. Ooh. Next time someone says good big day, all my everyone's like, you know, flippers buy cheap shit. Yeah, we do. Because we don't want to carry this shit over. I'm tired. I'm tired, Grandpa. All right. Got it? Big man. I go in first, right? Yeah. Weird enough. Clear it. Is that right? Yep, my fingers are totally stuck. It hurts like hell. Oh, thank you. This is not shit, I just need to help with that. Cool. Uh, other than that, I'm pretty much just going to start buttoning up all the doorknobs and everything. Um, tonight, I'm going to have to run to Home Depot. I'm going to make pretty much a list of all the materials that we need to finish. Do the driveway. So, this is where, like, you got to know your your buyer, right? This driveway is disgusting. This is a half a million dollar home. Be careful, folks. It's a half a million dollar home. You cannot expect someone to spend half a million dollars and have this, right? So we're gonna get that done. It's actually not that expensive, guys. It's 2,800 bucks. I would be an idiot not to do it. So we're gonna do it. So earlier I made a video that you really don't need money to invest in real estate, but you know, physically somebody has to bring it. It just doesn't have to be yours. And once you have a track record for success, you have a certain reputation, people trust you, they like you, they wanna invest with you because people have money. What they don't have is a person that's gonna turn their money into more money without them having to do any work. They have already worked to acquire the money. They are not trying to do any more work. These people exist, and these people are looking for people like us who are still in our grind phase, we're hungry, we wanna grow, and we need capital, right? So this is the phone call we're gonna get on, and we're gonna see if there's an opportunity to do business together. Now here's the thing with me. Not everybody can invest with me, and that's on purpose, because this is not a, uh, it's a two-way street, right? Just because you have money to give me doesn't mean I wanna take it. And that's because if you're gonna be difficult for me to deal with, this, that, and the other, I'd rather not. There's a lot of people that I know, that I like, that I trust, that I'd rather uh, do business with and make them money. So I gotta like you, and that's important. Don't take money from everybody, because not all money is good money. So I think there may be a little bit of a miscommunication. So this call was to see if you wanna invest in my deal exclusively. So if your goal is to replace your income, you probably shouldn't be investing with me, right? Because the ideal investor for me is someone like in a situation where you're kind of in, where you're running a business, you have a lot of income coming in, and the excess you just don't want sitting in your bank account, right? So instead of making a 4% return, you're going to make anywhere from 10 to 20% investing with me. So what do we think with this Villa Park one? I mean, I'm, uh, I'm seriously considering it here. The only thing is I, my, uh, my partner actually just talked to the seller this morning. Yeah. Like he's on a time crunch here. I mean, the guy really wants to move like extremely quick here, like two weeks, two to three weeks, cash deal close quick. So with the hard money side of things, I'm like, oh, well, I mean, do I really have the time? I mean, how long do you think it usually takes to get hard money processed and get everything funded? You could you could do it in 12, in 14 days. I've done it in 14 days before. Uh, but you got to move quick. You know, it's a lot of times hard money could be could take a while. If, like you as a borrower take forever to actually get them the docs. They will have to do an appraisal, so we're going to have to get that appraisal scheduled ASAP. Is it vacant or is he still living there? No, it's vacant. Or typically, you're looking at like a 60-40 split if someone's going to bring in all the other money, right? And uh, Well, it depends, bro. If you're doing hard money, right? You really What did I say you need on this one? 60000 Like sixty, yeah. 
Ah, uh, yes, that's gonna be very. So, ah, uh, I would never invest sixty k to make twenty. But it's one of those situations where it's only that because you don't have the track record, right? If, for example, if you had sold like three or four homes, if you've done three or four flips, you'd only have to put 15% down, right? And your rates would still be decent and your points. So you'd have to, you'd be spending like 35, 40 to make 20. Okay, that's 50% on your money. That's a yeah. different story. But obviously not being able to rent, it's kind of, you know, pretty tough. I didn't know that. That that's what scares me, bro. The the not renting part, you. All right, so plot twist. We're at my mom's house. We're trying to get their duck cleaning done. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm trying to help one of my mentor mentorship students. So he had a deal he was looking at, and at the end of the day, just didn't make any sense for him. So I've looked at enough deals to know that there's no margin here. It's too much risk, and there's not enough upside. So that's what the mentorship program is for. It's these little things that yes, you got the course. Yes, you know how to run the numbers, but do you know how to talk to a deal through? And it's what we did. So now he's not going to buy it. He's not going to lose money. If you're interested, link's in the bio. Book a 15-minute call. We'll chat, and we'll see if it makes sense. All right, so I'm here at an off-market property. I found this myself by cold calling. I cold called the uh, pre-foreclosure list I pulled from Red X. Literally, the worst quality leads on earth. And we were able to set an appointment. And this is someone that said, no, we're not really interested in selling. And I kept the conversation going, and then here we are. So we're going to go inside, take a look. I have no idea who's inside, who I'm walking into, what's going on. Jorge, if I don't make it out... Tell my kids I love them. Well, they're not answering, but we're gonna continue to wait. I just texted the lady. Let's see, she just read it. All right, so they're behind on their payments on this one. In the process of finding a great deal, you have to be able and willing to waste some time. And today, this drive was a colossal waste of time. However, we are building a relationship and not every appointment is gonna work out. And if you, if you think it is, you'll be out of the business before you even start it. So here we are, we'll be back tomorrow. I mean, if I can get this deal for 135, 140, now that I've seen it, I can actually sit down and run some comps and get a better feel for what the situation here is. Looks like they do have an English basement, good size home. I see a uh, garage back there. I don't know how many cars, but it looks like it could be two. I'm not gonna walk over there, it's raining, but nonetheless, let's go home. So last week, I was looking at this here retail center. Look at that. 80% vacant, it's a phenomenal situation, and I'll put an offer on it. And I lost it. That shopping center, if I got it for the price range that I was gonna get it in, or even the price range they want me to pay, but they end up just, they won't they won't consider any other offers. But it made me $300,000. But I was too busy dicking around to be making that offer. So moral of the story is, ladies and gentlemen, when you find something that you think might be a good deal, don't just favor it and say you'll get back to it. There's no there's no guarantee that it will be there. I had that deal checked a month and a half ago, but I got lazy, I got caught up with different things, I got comfortable, da da da, and I never went and took a executor on that. But then, you know, I learned my lesson. So now we go, now we just have to pass, drive past it every day and cry. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, I have to apologize, I completely forgot to record yesterday after about 2 p.m. Jorge went home and you know what? I lost my cameraman and I lost my, I lost my mind. But here's what happened. I ended up going back with Gabe. I got him some tacos. We ended up just chilling, working. I went on TikTok Live a little bit. We went to go see that same place that nobody showed up at. Nobody showed up again, so a complete waste of time. But nonetheless, we're back to work today. We're gonna do some cold calling and we're gonna enjoy, we're gonna grow, we're gonna make some money. And that's about all we got going on. So if you enjoyed the vlog, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.